So today I'm going to take you into my savers. If you're in Kansas, this is the Olathe savers off of Santa Fe. And when I walked in, I saw these big, gorgeous pieces and I was like, these prices are great. Are they finally coming back down <laughs> to some reasonable prices? Cause some of the stuff, um, in the past months that I have been, I mean, it's just not even worth you know, flipping or putting in my booth because of the price. So I started looking around. This was the first little section we come to. And a lot of the stuff like this was so cute, but stuff like this does not sell in my booth. And when I first started my booth, I really thought that like the more vintage -y, older stuff would sell. And they sold on my website like very well. But in the booth, I find that the more what a, like newer modern stuff sells better, which is kind of weird because I felt like people would go to antique booths to get antiques, but meh, whatever. So this cat, you guys, I, sorry, I did not show it to you, but it was a wood cat and it was like $10. These pieces right here are great in my booth. Anything that has a lot of these details that I can paint and then wax over always sell in my booth and i don't know why i don't do more of them but some of the prices i was like it just doesn't make sense to to grab it and to be honest i was just going into the store this day to kind of get out of the house see if i could find some home decor these birds i find everywhere and it is so funny because one was labeled 249 one was 549 but these birds if you see them and they're low cost like the 249 one buy them because you could cement them and wax them and they look stunning after you DIY them. Now these little suckers, $7.49. Somebody is on eBay looking up prices in the back of savers, okay? That's what's going on here. And then I had to figure out what that was. It was a giant pair. Paint it gold, somebody will pay a high dollar for it. <laughs> now we're gonna go around and I saw this and it was actually, I think, uh, maybe $6 and it wasn't bad. Like it wasn't torn apart or anything, but I just don't have the room to store it right now. So I decided to put it back and they didn't really have any good candlesticks. And you guys, as I was watching back this video editing right here, I pick up this like watering can looking thing, but do you see the little eggshell to the right, the cracked eggshell? I wonder how much that was because oh, it's $4.49. That would have made the cutest DIY. I'm sure it's gone now, but there's little Nug. She's still a little congested right then, but she's doing a lot better now. Now, over in this section, I do like this section. This is like where the metal stuff is, and then the other side is the wood. This was really cute. It was $8.99 though. Mm, nah. And this is where I also find the silver. Now, a lot of people will say like, I can't believe you painted over silver, but my thing is it's either gonna sit here forever or they're gonna toss it in the trash can and it's gonna end up in a landfill or somebody that's feeling inspired that wants to paint it and it is actually going to give it purpose again, I say go for it in that, you know, because I mean, the silver stuff is everywhere. This one's stamped. I probably wouldn't paint that one, but it was gorgeous. Didn't need it, so I put it back, but that one was really pretty. You see, I was thinking about it there. These also would be great for springtime. This, if ever I'm like thinking of something, I always come to the thrift store first before buying it new at like a big box store because you never know what you're gonna find. And for you farmhouse people, this was only $4.99. And it was a beautiful like sage color, adorable. Now these bigger pieces, I think they, they put smaller prices on them because they want the bigger pieces out. This was less than $8 and it was so big. It had the stand and there was nothing wrong with it. I, I probably would have picked it up, but I'm like, don't, you don't need it. You got a lot of boxes to, um, un unpack. This looked like metal, but it was actually plastic. Yes, 
it was plastic and look at how beautiful this is for like a vignette or something for $7.99 I did not think that was a bad price I will say though Salvation Army if you are into silver you need to catch them on their 50% off tags when all the silver is 50% off because that is when to buy them now I saw this it was not sitting flat on the shelf um, when I brought it home I did DIY this and it was totally lopsided but that's okay we'll we'll find a mallet hammer at some point so that went in the cart and then i come over to so this is the wood section actually what is your guys's favorite section at the thrift store usually they're organized into like woods metals glass you know all of that stuff so what is your favorite section where like you always head there and you know you're going to find one thing um they had these little like the wood signs and stuff they had these priced way too high <laughs> and i love when you find dollar tree stuff and they mark it up look at that 2.99 didn't those come in like a like the three weren't they nesting boxes or did you have to buy all three separately i don't remember but they did have some good stuff like these bird houses would look so good on spindles but they were 7.99 each each these you guys if you were to paint these gold or just a black these would be considered like modern and they'd probably sell now this was brand spanking new it was a faux wood can candelabra candelabra you guys know what i'm talking you picking up what i'm putting down it was gorgeous but i knew i wouldn't use it in my decor and i was like it's too Ugh, i put it back i put it back you guys i know you guys are probably thinking like why but i did it um so like i said like these wood signs they just want way too much for it now you guys anything like this with a heavy amount of detail just like i mentioned in the beginning of the video if i put paint and wax over them they do so well for me in the booth i just have something that looks similar so i didn't pick it up <laughs> and then someone definitely diy painted these with chalk paint but did a horrible job i'm sorry but they were so bad and i do have some similar so i didn't buy them this one was really cute and modern, but unfortunately it was broken on the top, so I didn't grab it. And then more Dollar Tree for $2.99. And we have this creepy cat. Somebody would probably love this cat, and it was made by someone because the initials were in the bottom. But we'll we'll keep that. Savers can keep that. And then you come by beauties like this. You guys, this would be perfect to put in the booth. It was only $6.99. There was not one thing wrong with it. However, I don't have the space right now to store this, so I had to leave it. Oh, and here goes Mo, you guys. Poor thing. I don't know what she wants. Uh, I find these literally every time I come into one of my thrift stores. Not just Savers, but like majority of my thrift stores. This one was about $5.49. I have, I think, three of these already, so I, I kept it there and didn't touch it. This would look so pretty for spring in a vignette or even chalk painted wooden wax to bring out that detail again that would be gorgeous and there is nugs tuned on her blanket stephanie you sent her this on the fair baby fairy mill now this is one section i never pass up i have an addiction to finding knitted blankets here they sell in my booth when i had my website y'all bought them and um i personally love the knitted blankets love them knitted crocheted i don't know um that one i would have gotten the orange one but it was unraveling on the bottom so i decided to keep that one there and then i saw this one i loved the pattern i love the colors i think this would go for fall summer if you wanted to put it like you know draped over a chair or like on your porch or something like that i loved it so i was like yep gonna get it and these usually range here from like 4.99 so about like 6.99 or so so i put that one in the cart there's another one in there too and i also saw this one and i almost got it but i told myself i did not need three blankets today and the one behind it was gorgeous too but i didn't like the um light blue with the teal and look at that one that would be so cute for a teenager and our last stop you guys 
right as I'm walking out, I find these heavy duty, so big, and look at what the price, $6.99. So we're gonna take that home. I'm gonna show you what I ended up getting. I hope you enjoyed the ride along and let's get into the haul now. So we went thrifting. I was actually kind of like bummed out. A lot of the stuff was, I don't, one, there just wasn't a lot of stuff I was into. And then the things that I was into were way too expensive. And I have been being very selective because I know how much stuff I have because we just moved. I just really wanted to get out of the house just for like a little bit. Montgomery didn't last long, but I ended up spending like $45. I'm going to show you what I got especially because and i'm showing you this because i want to like upcycle it right now for a video so we're gonna do it so um two things that i bought they're for montgomery um and keep your opinions to yourself when it comes to blankets because you do you i do me what's best for my baby is what i feel is best for my baby so um montgomery does sleep with um knitted blankets and um she has quite a few from past babies and people made them stuff. And then I have found a couple too at Savers before she was born. And uh, when she was sick and stuff, we just keep like going through them and washing them so often. So I was on the hunt and I found the most gorgeous knitted blankets. And I cannot wait to show you. So look at how beautiful this one is look at how pretty that is and then look at the the details at the end the shapes love this love this and this is something too that like everly can use like the size size wise you know and then something too that would look gorgeous on a like side chair is, is that what they're called i don't know you know the, the little decorative chair i don't know but so great, especially during the summer. Gorgeous. And this was $5.99. If you guys don't want to hear a crying baby, then you might not want to stay here. <laughs> She's pretty upset right now. And that oh, and then I found this one. I was drawn to it. So it was like hanging and I could see the like those details. This one was also $5.99. I want to open this up though. Let's see. I usually try and check, like go through them, um, make sure that they don't have any holes in them and things like that. I mean, sometimes I miss it. This one looks pretty darn good, but look at that detail, you guys. No one's, cr I think it's crazy that like somebody like did this by hand, somebody got rid of it. Cause it, I would not get rid of any of my knitted blankets that people made our children, you know? So I thought this was absolutely see, stunning. It's very, very light and breathable, which I love. So I got those. Now, one thing I will say about thrifting, um, there is a YouTuber called The Thrilled Thrifter and I watch her, her style isn't really my style, but I learn a lot from her and that's why I always tell like say like give other creators like a chance and stuff because people might not craft like you or decorate like you but the thing is the inspiration you can learn different things from them and this was one I think I, I think this one is too big dang it I thought I looked up the size anyways so one thing I learned from her was buying your throw pillows at the thrift store and then she and I even bought it she washes them um with detergent and then this like antibacterial um detergent as well so that's what I do I just buy them there's this one was $7.99 they range from like $4.99 to $7.99 I can use this fabric for something else later down the road but these are feather down pillows so again $7.99 for this one and um, these would cost, so a decorative pillow like this at, um, uh, what do you call it? Not Hobby Lobby. Home Goods is 25 bucks or more. 
I paid eight dollars I wash this and then I just buy my pillowcases on Amazon and switch them out by the season and this is such a great low-cost way of updating your bedroom or your living room for a low cost and its quality so I will be washing this I really hope I'm assuming this one is a 20 by 20 and they always say that you want to go one size bigger than your pillowcases. So if my pillowcases are 18 by 18, you would put a 20 by 20 pillow in there. So found that and I needed one more. And the last thing, or no, sorry. And then I found this. These always, so anything detailed like this that I could put paint on and then put wax over sells very well in the booth. So I, anytime I find something like this, I grab it because putting the DIY paint on and wax is so easy and it's a great turnaround and profit. And this one was $4.99. For some reason it feels waxy. I don't know what that's about, but hopefully we can get it off. So that was $4.99 and the last thing that, of course I grabbed were these candlesticks. These are $6.99. They feel like um, a plaster, but almost like a cast iron. They're not as heavy, but that's almost kind of like what they feel like in um, weight. And they have, I don't know if you could see it. There's so much texture on this thing. Like the green looks like it's crackling and then like around it, I don't know but these are only $6.99 each. So I got two of them and I'm planning on upcycling these right now and then this tray to go with a sign that I currently made. I totally have a vision for these, um, but only $6.99. You guys, this size candlestick in like the front section, $6.99, okay? So finding this big old thing for $6.99, I'm like, how do they choose how to price things? But anyways, that is what I thrifted. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. And if you want to see what I turned these into, then make sure to go visit the Unicorn Dust Designs channel where I DIY. And I can't wait to show you how I eventually put them in the house after um, Christmas or my bedroom. We will see. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.